Patricio, George A. Romero. Thank you. How are you, buddy? I have a problem with that. That's all right. Welcome. Thank you. How are things? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Your congratulations. I mean, this Night of the Living Dread, the, the, this nice curated journey through your work, that's got to be kind of fun for you with the Tiff Light Box. It's, it is fun, you know. Um, I always loved uh, fantasy films. And, you know, I, I, I grew up on a combination of the old movies because when I was right at that er, er, impressionable age, 12, 11, 12, mm -hmm. they were re-releasing the, the famous monster movies, the Universal Films. Dracula, Frankenstein, the originals. If you look at Dracula, the, the, the original Lugosi's Dracula is beautifully shot. It's just gorgeous. Um, All those good films, when, they, when they're done right, are not just like we said about the monster. It's about they're making statements. Yes. So when did that become a part of the story for you? Well, for me, I, I, <laughs> I was sort of uh, dragged into it in a way. I mean, I, I, we were angry. When we, I, I, made, I, I made my first film, Night of the Living Dead, and... Um, we were angry, yes, and it, I, when I, there's a scene in, near the end of the film where, you know, dogs, come, a posse with dogs comes and they hunt down this guy and they shoot him. And the guy, the actor, happened to be African American. Mm -hmm. And our intention was not to make a racial statement. This is 1968, right? 1968. So it was right at that time. There were new riots in Watts and, you know, and... and that's not what was on our mind. And when we had the film finished, and we drove it to New York to see if anybody wanted to show it. And while we were driving to New York, we heard on the car radio that Martin Luther King had been assassinated. It was April of 68, and you're on this drive. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, it became a racial movie. What did you make of Walking Dead? The Walking Dead premiere, the, the most recent premiere, was the highest rated basic cable premiere right. ever. Yeah. And obviously, there's a real, it's a, it's a real homage to you in a sense. The zombies are very similar in a lot of ways. But what did you, what did you think of what, what was become of this Walking Dead thing? Uh, I wish they would have called me. <laughs> well, I heard they offered you to, to direct, direct some episodes. Yes, an episode. But yeah. that's once the Bible is written. Right. Uh, you know, and, you and said no? not much you could. I, yes, I said no. Because it's not my thing. And in fact, I thought it was a little too close for comfort. And uh, so I I've, I've basically said no, even though a bunch of my buddies are working on it, right. Greg Nicotero and the boys from Sundance, and uh, um, anyway. I want to go back to some of your early stuff here. I'm going to play this clip, early TVs. You didn't do Walking Dead, but what do you think of this? And the kind eyes <laughs> of the people in the operating room. Even though they wore masks, I could see their kind eyes. Mr. Rogers got your tonsillectomy. <laughs> that's yours. That's me. Mr. Rogers gets a tonsillectomy brought to you by George A. Romero. Right, a <laughs> How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know why they called me. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I loved Fred. I, I used to shoot all... He had this feature on his program called Picture Picture. Mm -hmm. And the trolley would come and take us off to some place, some other land. And we would, uh, I shot all of those, all the picture, picture things for Fred. Most of the, of the people that are working professionals in media today from Pittsburgh worked for Fred. All of us started with Fred. Fred was a wonderful, he was a wonderful guy. One of the things, as you've made, you continued on with this Living Dead, I guess, series and the different ways you've covered is what makes yours very different from a lot of horror films, especially ones being made today, is you, um, you don't brutalize women. But it doesn't seem to be <laughs> good part of your conversation. <laughs> it's not part of my conversation. I've never wanted to go there. I've, I've never, I've always tried.